okay now let's do the question number seven in the question number seven you are getting create a web form to demonstrate the use of the ad rotator and with the five advertisement you have to show the five additive uh, advertisement as well as the keyword as well now let's start so first i will create as you know in the question it is mentioned that you have to create a web form and so you can use the web application as well as you can create website a website as well so i am creating one website here so after creation of your website so now my website is created now i will right click here and i will add one web form the default name i will click on the ok you just have to go to the design part you have to take the ad rotator you can set the height and the width of your ad rotator so i am by default setting the height as 400 similarly the width as 400 now whatever you height you want you can set here also you need some images for it Currently, uh, I have three images here that is IMG1, IMG2 and IMG3. We, uh, please make sure that your image should be in a same format. So I will just paste my images here. As you can see, my all the images are in the JPG format. Now we have to add our file as well that is XML file. So I will add new item and then you have to search your XML after searching just a second again 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 right click add new item and then you have to search xml here so after searching the xml you are getting to xml visual basic and visual c sharp already we are doing the visual uh, c sharp so i will add that xml file after adding the xml file you will get this kind of screen here you have to add your own code so first we are doing the advertisement now so i will write advertisements no it's a advertisements single nahi hai. we have to create multiple advertisements so advertisement so i am opening the advertisement tag and i am closing it also keep in mind the advertisement ta uh, uh, advertisement tag should be a, a, a should be capital and under it i will create ad and i will close that ad currently i will create three ads as uh, you can create five item as well so here first thing which is an important one is your image url image url so where is image url first i will close it i will close my image url now how to write your image url you just have to write the image name that is img.jpg it is simple img.jpg img.jpg similarly after your image url you can write the link as well so navigate url so under the navigate url you can write any link here you can write any link for example i am writing the google link so i will write www.google.com so that's quite simple here if you want https you can write http s colon and then whatever is your link is so as you can see the color is changed now uh, similarly you can set some alternate text so alternate text so if your image is not loaded you will get this text there alternate text so i am just setting that is my image one now so under the alternate text i am going to write image one only and then after your alternate text uh, you have to mention the keyword as well in the question it is mentioned that you have to add the keyword as well as you can see how filter the keyword so i will write keyword and then i will close that keyword as well and here for your keyword i will write image one okay now already i had set it everything now i will run my project let's see are we getting the image or not so let's see the output so as you can see we are not getting the output why we are not getting the output because kya aapne ise set kiya so you have to go to the default part you have to select this advertisement file and under the advertisement file you have to select your advertisement file first so i will select my xml file here and then i will run it again let's see the output now 
so as you can see we are getting the alternate text why we are getting the alternate text because image is not loaded here now let's resolve it so as you can see i am writing img.jpg but my file name is img1.jpg so i will write img1 and then i will run it again let's see are we getting the output yes so please make sure that you are writing the correct file name which is present here you have to uh, select your xml file as well now if you want to show more advertisements you just have to copy paste it i'm just copy paste and i will write here image 2 similarly image 2 and similarly image 2 similarly i will do the third image for the third image that is image 3 image 3 and then image 3 you can change the url if you want so i will run it again let's see are we getting the different images or not so as you can see we are getting the different different images okay so this is the advertisement practical now let's do the next one next practical is practical number eight again you can refer this practical to the practical number three which is your calendar control now let's start with the next one your question number nine is create a simple application to demonstrate the concepts of boxing and unboxing let's start for creation of boxing and unboxing you have to create one application it is an application that is your console application so i will just create one console application after creation of your console application just remove everything which is uh, already present here so i will just click on control all and i will delete all the part here and using system which is required to print something so using system under using system i will write class program and under the class program you can write your main class so static void and mains please keep in mind that the main uh, the M should be capital. So here I will write string and then my args and then Your main class is ready now. So under your main class what we are doing first we'll use the boxing so int num I'm taking one number here After taking the number we have to create one object. We are showing the uh, Boxing wala partner. So object we are creating one object with obg and then we'll assign will assign our number under that object what we are doing this part is known as boxing you can show it to the external that this part is doing the boxing bar part now let's do the unboxing so int i am giving the name as unbox only so that you will understand it is an unboxing bar part is equal to to unbox you have to mention that it is a uh it is a conversion of object into the integer but we are doing it forcefully using one uh creation of uh, which is using your boxing wala part integer now here what we are doing we are doing the box unboxing so i will mention here unboxing so we are doing unboxing here now after doing the boxing and the unboxing you just have to print all the values so console dot right line and under the console dot right line i will just simply write the original value that is my original value okay which is integer original value was in the integer format huh? so i will show the original value where is my original value my original value is under my number okay similarly i will print boxed value so boxed value i will write boxed value and boxed value that is box value is under the object and where it is it is under my obj okay so i will write obj i will close it similarly console dot write line unboxed value so i will print unboxed value where is unboxed value unboxed value is in the form of integer only and where it is present it is present under the unbox variable so i will write unbox just simply run your application let's see the output now uh we are getting some error here where the error it is string args okay just a second i will put string args now i will run it again let's see the output So as you can see 
the original value integer then object and the integer that's it for the unboxing and boxing practical now let's do the next for the question number 10 you can refer the question number 3 which is available in the part 1 of your EWD revision session now let's do the next one okay class in the question number 11 what is asking how you can how can you create a simple application that showcases the use of the interfaces in programming think about the defining the interface for different types of the vehicle and implementing it in classes like car and the bike so we have to implement uh, interface let's see let's do it so i will create one new project here as you know it's simple uh, application so i will create one console application i will click on the next and the create now i will remove that part which is present already there and let's do the coding part now first i will use my system class why we are using the system class because uh, we have to use the console so now we'll define our interfaces so i'm defining interface interface and then it is an interface so i'm starting the interface name with the i so vehicle and then simply you can write your methods here so i will define two methods now the first one that is declaration i will declare two methods first one is start which is a common one uh, and second one is stop which is a common now i will use my class class car under my class car i will inherit my interface that is i vehicle now after inheriting your i vehicle you have to call both the methods so i will use public keyword void and then i will call my start method so start method and then simply you can write your message here whatever is your message so my message is console dot write line and if you are doing the start part then you will write car is starting so you can simply write car is starting and i will do a semicolon here i will provide semicolon uh, so same thing i will copy down same thing i will copy down for the stop as well as you can see it is providing me the suggestion and then i will simply write car is stopping so i will just copy paste the same content i will paste it here and instead of writing starting i will write stopping and then just close your brackets and your parentheses as well we'll close the main parenthesis as well so it is created now your car wala part is done now we'll do the same thing for the bike as well so i will just copy this code similarly i will paste it now it is for the car i will write bike here and the same thing will write under the bike as well that is bike and then uh, instead of car i will write bike bike and then now let's call all the methods here so we'll create one class program class program okay now as you can see main method is missing shell so i will create class program and under my class program i will just write static void main and then whatever you want that is string args string args and then under that i will just simply call all of my functions so static void main under it first i will create a object of my i vehicle but with respect to the car okay so i vehicle car and here i will mention car as you can see the letter of the car the letter of the car is capital so here i am writing car so now it is done for the car now i will write car dot start similarly car dot stop now do the same thing for your bike as well i will copy it just paste it here and instead of car you can write bike but don't forget to change it here as well as you can see the bike b capital and then i will write bike similarly bike okay now let's see the output i will run this application so you are getting car is starting car is stopping bike is starting bike is stopping so that's it for your uh, this one let's start the next
for the question number 12 you can refer the practical that is a different state management practical which is practical number 5c for this one this practical is similar which is we had completed in the part one that is user defined exception just here you instead of writing less than zero you have to write divide by zero and then you can use that inbuilt divide by zero exception or you can use your own exception as well so here divide by zero and if user is entering some amount which is out of your range you can select the range and then you can show that out of range voila exception using a text box number 14 is available on my youtube channel you can refer the practical of your website control and the tree view for this practical